My name is Jean-Marc Tamens. I'm 38 years old and I did a re scientific research exchange to the National Institutes of Health and more specifically the National Institute on Aging. Uh, the subject of the research exchange was in neuroscience and more specifically on the molecular causes of Parkinson's disease. Uh, being um, a research scholar, I was already active in uh, scientific research before thinking of leaving to the United States. I noticed that a lot of the leading labs in my field were in the United States, and so I explored the possibility of uh, spending some time in a, in a very good lab in the United States. The way I went about it is to um, ask about the people, uh, look around in, in literature and and conferences who were the people most active in my field. And I actually was able to approach a few people at conferences um, and um, one of these uh, discussions uh, led to an invitation, um, a, a good mix uh, between my, re my own research interests and the research in interests of the lab and that's how it, it, um, it came about. So as uh, I would suggest to uh, most people in my situation, I think uh, contacting your potential host is uh, probably the, 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 the most practical thing to do, more preferably if you can at a, in person in a conference or if the, the prospective host uh, researcher is actually visiting your own institution. As a research scholar I didn't have to take any exams and none were required. Uh, there wasn't really a formalized uh, application process. Um, it was more uh, getting in touch with someone who has uh, research interests that uh, are in the same line as, as, uh, as my own. Um, so there wasn't any formal uh, application procedure. Okay. Although there was more of a, a procedure, in, uh, more in the form of discussing common research interests, um, maybe so, uh, in somewhat in the form of an interview. The stay in the U.S. was, was very productive. Um, we uh, were able to, um, together with my host lab, uh, generate a few scientific pub publications. We also wrote a joint uh, project proposal, which uh, was one of the highlights of the stay because the project proposal was accepted. Um, uh, and we heard about this more or less at the end of the stay, so it was uh, a, a moment where, where we were um, quite quite um, pleased that, that this had come come about and um, was one of the reasons why there's continued collaboration between the lab where I returned in Belgium and uh, the lab uh, that I was visiting uh, in the National Institutes of Health. Um, I would say besides the the scientific accomplishments um, I was I really enjoyed actually um, all the scientific uh, scientific discussions with there were a lot of people with my own my own research interests because it's such a huge institution. There's more researchers, uh, a lot of researchers around. Um, that was very enjoyable and, uh, and actually uh, because a lot of people were visitors themselves it was um, very nice to actually meet them both scientifically but also personally. I definitely have plans for return to the United States uh, most um, uh, specifically because we have a continued collaboration with the lab and I'll definitely be back uh, in the context of that uh, uh, research collaboration. Uh, my research exchange to the United States was very stimulating both on a scientific and on a personal level. Mijn wetenschappelijke uitwisseling naar de Verenigde Staten was zeer stimulerend zowel op wetenschappelijk als op persoonlijk vlak. Mon échange scientifique aux États-Unis a été très stimulant tant au niveau scientifique qu'au niveau personnel.